In lessons 15 and 16, the students worked on reading and writing expressions. So the first section, they worked on reading expressions, and I'm gonna read the first three for you and show you what the students did. This is A times B times C, okay? So when students read this, they had to write out the phrase, the product, which is the answer to a multiplication problem of A, B, and C. They could have also written out A times B times C. For the next expression, this is A increased by, and since there are parentheses, the quantity D minus 6. For the last one, okay, I encourage the students to actually take this and rewrite it, not as a fraction, but actually using the division symbol. This is the quantity D increased by K. divided by 6. And these were examples of reading expressions. Then we flipped and we went to lesson 16 where we were actually writing expressions with numbers, variables, and symbols. And the students were encouraged to underline important words. Four times the quantity 6 decreased by 2. Times indicates multiplication. Four times quantity is parentheses. 6 decreased by 2. And then we talked about um, not needing the multiplication symbol. Students can just write 4 outside of parentheses and this also indicates 4 times the quantity 6 minus 2. Okay. The next one, the quotient of A and B plus 7. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So we talked about doing A divided by B plus 7. Students do not need parentheses in this case because division comes before addition in the order of operations. But I would also take this as an answer. And this is what we worked on, writing expressions. For review, I would also like the students to work on a couple that we've been working on from class. Write an expression for the distance between 3 negative 6 and 12 negative 6. So I always have the students put the coordinates on top of each other. The y coordinate is the same, so they don't need to worry about it. The x coordinates differ, but they have the same sign. And when the coordinates have the same sign, um, they subtract their value because they're in the same quadrant. But in order to write an expression, students know that we're not subtracting 12 minus 3. This is not correct. We're actually subtracting the absolute value of 12 from the absolute value of 3. And that would be a correct expression. The next one, we have to order the following from least to greatest. I see some of them have decimals, so I'm going to go and line those ones up first. I'm going to fill in missing places with zeros. And then I'm going to pull out my calculator and punch in 3 divided by 5. And that gives me 0 0.6, so I know that's negative 2.60. When we're ordering negatives, we are going to concentrate on the one that's farthest from 0, because that is the least. And I have 2 in 20 hundredths, 2 in 90 hundredths, 2 in 6 hundredths, and 2 in 60 one hundredths. 2 in 90 hundredths is the least, followed by 2 in 60 hundredths, 2 in 21 hundredths, and these of course are all negative.
values. Okay, and that is ordered from least to greatest. And the last two for today, okay, evaluate. And I always encourage my students to expand the multiplication just to make sure that they understand multiplication is going on between the coefficient and the variable. This is 6 times 4 to the third power plus 2 times 4. Um, order of operations, no parentheses. I do have exponents. I'm going to prove my exponents to the side. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So it's 2 times 64 plus 2 times 4. Now I'm going to multiply or divide whichever comes first from left to right. 6 times 64 is going to give you an answer of 384. I'm going to bring down my plus 2 times 4. I'm not done with all of my multiplication. So I'm going to have 384 plus 2 times 4, which is a product of 8. And when I do this last one, the answer should be 392. And the last one tells me to factor. I'm going to look at the coefficients and see if they have anything in common. They both have a factor of 12 that I could pull out. 24a divided by 12 is going to give me 2a. 36b divided by 12 is going to give me 3b. And if I was going to factor this two-term expression, the correct answer would be 12 times the quantity, 2a plus 